Howdy heck and hello people. Today we're going to be looking at more dinosaurs. I know you guys are excited, but uh want to give a little update. So I got the uh, the boys up here. You know, we got Lando, Luke, Han and the Death Trooper. I got more coming. So if you guys are interested, I will review them. If not, I won't review them. But today we're actually going to be looking at some Jurassic World figures in particular. We're going to be looking at the Jurassic World Dominion Ankylosaurus. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, folks, today we're going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dominion Roar Strikers Ankylosaurus. This is a retool of a figure from the original Jurassic World toy line, but it's a new figure for me because the only other Ankylosaurus I own is Bumpy, which has got a different head sculpt than this one. So, you get the Ankylosaurus in the box, Jurassic World Dominion. Got the T-Rex and the logo, Royal Strikers and Kylosaurus, UPC code. This figure retails for $15. At the top it says Jurassic World. Side you got the Pyroraptor. On the back, we've got a nice render of the Ankylosaurus showing the action gimmick. We've got the scan code. The other figures in the line. I have a review up for the Triceratops on the channel, and the other two will be coming shortly. This figure is electronic, you just press down on it and it'll roar. On the other side, you got all the legal stuff, such as Universal, Amblin, EPC code. It's made in Vietnam. And uh, without further ado, let's get this guy out of its box. Here is the Ankylosaurus out of its box. As you can see, it's a pretty nice uh, figure. Um, paint job is a bit basic, but you know, it's Mattel. They cheap out sometimes. Starting out with the head sculpt. Got this nice, well painted yellow eye. You got some darker browns and like red on the head. The top of the head there. On the side, you've got individually molded uh, spikes and armor plating, so that's pretty cool. It's got a darker brown shell at the top. You got the red underbelly, and then on the tail, you've got the club. These are not painted, unfortunately, and neither is the club. The other side is the same deal. So, yeah, that's the. Uh, and Kylosaurus. So this is a Roar Strikers figure, so it shares the same gimmick as all the other Roar Strikers figures, being you press down on it, and it'll activate. So pressing down will activate three sounds. You've got this sound, then you've got this sound, then you've got this sound. So pretty cool, and the club will swing, so if you want to have a bigger dinosaur here, I've got the uh, Tarbosaurus from 2020. Ankylosaurus can like... Smack him. If Carnivore was to really get hit by an Ankylosaurus, up their entire leg would get fractured basically instantaneously so got to use a little bit of imagination there it can knock over some of the smaller figures like here I've got a uh, human figure here got Brooklyn here from Camp Cretaceous easily knock down smaller figures Speaking of human figures, let's do some comparisons. Seeing as this is an Ankylosaurus, there's only one human character I could possibly pair it with. 
And that's Ben from Camp Cretaceous. Now Ben is not a full grown adult. So here it is with Roland Tembo as well, just to get an adult figure there. It's pretty low to the ground, but it's like a big bulky figure as most of Metallus herbivores are. Here it is next to Ankylosaurus Bumpy. As you can see, they're quite similar in build, but Bumpy's got a different head sculpt. Bumpy has a horn that is not symmetrical as compared to the other Ankylosaurus, who does have symmetrical horns. Also, the legs look a bit different on Bumpy as you can see, but they share the same base articulation, everything, the head will move, it's on a ball joint, and then the legs will all move as well. So pretty cool, but yeah, very direct comparison with Bumpy. Also gotten two uh, baby bumpies, so like baby ankylosauruses here. Here it is next to the first version of baby bumpy. As you can see, this one is very cartoonicized for the show, but pretty close. It, you can tell that it's a baby ankylosaurus. Here it is next to the other version of bumpy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely digging this Ankylosaurus though. I like Bumpy more, but it's nice to have like a non-Bumpy Ankylosaurus. Here it is next to the other figure I have in the Roar Striker series, being the Triceratops. The Triceratops is a lot bigger, as in taller, and he's got the bigger head. But the Ankylosaurus is about the same length as the Triceratops, and it's because they're about, they're the same price point. So they should be pretty relatively uniform in size. And then final comparison here it is next to a $20 figure. This is the 2020 Tarbosaurus that I used earlier. So it's a it's on scale for what an Ankylosaurus should be. It's going to be about it for this review. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, let me know. If you did, let me know. Dinosaurs trying to do a video every day. Thanks for watching! Woo! Ha, ha, ha.